Aristotle once wisely said, happiness is the meaning and the purpose of life, the whole aim and end of human existence. This journey is not a search for happiness. It is not an attempt to fill an empty void within our hearts or our souls. This journey is about creating freedom. A freedom that will forever live deep inside of us. A place where true happiness can live. A journey to go and live free. Today's the day. Today's the day and I can't figure out if we're batshit crazy or just adventure lovers. <laughs> <sighs> Moving out. Do you want any of the finishing scrubs since I cleaned the whole house? Heather did an excellent job <laughs> cleaning the entire house. It is now ready for some lucky couple to enjoy. A bunch of lucky couples. We're Airbnb being the house. And this place is spotless, just like it was better than when we moved in three years ago. Time to hit the road. Yesterday we spent the day in Long Island and we drove all the way to Montauk and we absolutely loved it. It was so cool. Heather and I had a blast. The first day of van life was sweet. It felt like the honeymoon phase of van life and we knew it was going to be that way because this morning, not as sweet. Uh, late last night, nothing bad, but late last night we decided that uh, we couldn't really find a place in Montauk to camp up. It's super, super kind of regulated and you can, they don't really want you parking and sleeping anywhere. Lots of signs that say no overnight parking. So instead, our good friends Jesse and Amanda were kind enough to allow us to stay at their beach home here in, I want to say this is Jamesport, just on the other side of Long Beach Island. And we got here kind of late. It was about 10 p.m. And we came down this dark, dark, tiny alleyway and we tried driving the van down here at first and it just did not work so they, she told us we could actually just park over there but uh, it's still kind of warm here and the reason I say we are no longer in the honeymoon phase is we woke up and it was a bit warm and we can't run the AC all day long and obviously the dogs are in there it's still summer and it's still kind of warm that's the reason we're going north but since we have an electrical hookup here at the house, we are going to do a little musical cars and move the cars around so that we can fit the van in here and hook up to some electrical. So, uh, Also yesterday we decided that we were going to do this entire vlog thing. Even though we said we wouldn't, we decided a, if you don't want to watch this, you don't have to watch it. B, we know our friends and family would love to watch this. And C, this will always be something that after we make these videos, we'll have them forever and we'll always be able to go back and look at them. And if for no other reason than that, we want to have these videos. So if we move this out here, hopefully we can drive the van in and back it up right there and plug in. This little house is so awesome. It's literally like a freeze frame 
back in history, back in time. into the spa. There she is. Look at this. Beach. Oh. It's Van Boy in Van Girl. What are you doing in there? I'm just looking at everything. How cool is it in there? It's cool. It kind of reminds me of like my grandma's house and I have this thought that like it's so interesting to be in a home with all those old things because our kids may never know what that's like. No, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like some of those those things are They're like antiques. They're like heirlooms. actually the first time cooking in the van for real. Heather is just finishing up doing the laundry in the sink. I told her I'd come out here and make her some eggs. Uh, you know, this is our first, we're about 24 hours into our first day of van life. Lots of emotions. Uh, we've had some very high highs and already some, not lows, but you know, they're having two big dogs in with you is a lot of responsibility and make their comfort is our number one priority and Heather it really takes a burden on Heather more so than me so she's feeling a little stressed out but AC's cranking it's cool in here it's so nice and we're gonna take Scout swimming down at the beach after we eat breakfast so you know the, I don't know I'm sitting here thinking I'm making breakfast and no it's not easy uh, you know I knew it wasn't going to be easy. I knew there were going to be a bunch of different feelings. And I'm just sitting here making breakfast and just kind of reflecting and thinking, uh, you know, nothing in life that's worth it is easy. And I think this will be worth it. And it may be some work. It's going to take some getting used to. But I know it'll be, uh, it'll all be worth it in the end. So we're going to bring you guys along and show you not only the good things, but also the bad things. But right now, these eggs are ready. Us what's on the menu tonight? I'm gonna make one of our favorite comfort meals as of this summer. And because we're at Jesse's mom's house, might as well make this one for them because this is one of our faves. Uh, coconut rice, Cajun pan fried chicken, and a little salsa with some fresh Jersey tomatoes. Jersey tomatoes. Yeah, I'm gonna go unload the bike. Standing on the edge of my chair. Everything I know will be gone in a minute. And that's all right. All right, cause I'm free. I'm freer than I ever been before. Yeah, baby, I'm free. I'm freer than I ever been before. All right, cause I'm free.
think of the ice cream? Oh, it was really good. It's delicious. We've already decided we're going back. I want to try the uh, honey lavender. <laughs> I kind of want to try the goat cheese. Oh. I just want to taste though. I bet if you got goat cheese with honey lavender, it'd be good. What about coconut avocado? I'm down, down with it. We got a nice bottle of wine. And we're just going to go relax by the water here for just a quick minute. We're going to do a little work this morning. We both have some work to do. And then we're going to go check out some uh, wineries around here. Mmm, another beautiful day. Because we're dripping sweat and bugs are all over. <sighs> but yes, it's a beautiful day. That's hot. Running's more fun when you don't know where you're going. Yeah, I only really like running in new places. Yeah, running in new places is fun. All right, you let's get this. Just get distracted a little. Yeah, total distraction by all the views, <clears> all the <throat> new scenery. Let's get this workout in. That's why we need to get mountain bikes. Do we need mountain bikes? Got to find a good deal. All the prices are jacked up right now. Oh yeah. Because of the whole quarantine, so everyone's yeah. trying to do outdoorsy stuff. You can't even buy them brand new. They're back ordered until January. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's work out. Yeah. Ooh, let's go. Ah, keep it up. Wait, wait. Hold on, Q. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I'm at the tippy top of my game. Looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them bastards. A lot of dudes, just some undercover actress. I don't fall for it, I'm privy to all your tactics. Yeah, so try again, it's time to take a vitamin. Yeah, and vitamin, welcome to the lion's den. And I'm Mufasa, big boss in charge of coming in like a bull. You see me raising the stock up, uh, yeah. So baby, you gonna need some patience. I already won. Where are we? We are at Lens Winery. What are you drinking now? This is a Merlot. What do you think about it? Mm, I'm privy to the California grape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the California red wines are good. Way better. It's from Hair Traffic. Never seen it. Down by the bay. <laughs> okay, we are back in Long Beach Island because we're back because we love it here, and also it's just so damn hot. Um, and so we had to get out of Long Island. Long Island. I had to rethink our route north. So we uh, met our family here on the beach. Uh, we picked up some stuff to make for dinner and we're actually all gonna hang out and watch the sunset over here at our favorite spot. Cook up some dinner. Looks like we have it to ourselves, kinda. Here we are. <sighs> down by the bay, down by the bay. <laughs> Back to my 